Halloween, Halloween. I got. I was at the dollar store and I seen these. There's two uh, the skeleton heads and these little ghosties. There you go, little ghosties. And they're on a little thing that you put on your head. And there's a switch here. If you turn the switch on, they light up. You see. Um, so. I'm going to try taking these apart and put them on a board of some kind and see if I can't make some kind of a switch that if you tap it, it'll make them go off. If, if that doesn't work, it doesn't matter because it's only $2 and these are on springs, you see. So at the very least, I can get it so like if the kid's here, I'll shake it hard, see. If if the spirit can push, to push it, you know, because it's not... It's strong enough that it's it's really windy right now if you look at my curtain. Okay, so I'll put those there. And it doesn't move, you see, with the wind. So you do have to, it's a, it's a pretty big spring. Let's see if I can get a, it's a pretty thick spring. So even if it's sitting and it moves a lot, like if it really moves or something, then that you know, would have had to been something moved it. So, even if I can't get it to blink, they're going to make good uh, trigger objects. So, okay, I'll let you see what's going as I go on. Okay, so I got them off of the thing. There's the switch. Um, there's a screw back here. So I'm going to take this off and see how it's connected to what type of battery. Maybe we can work on something from there. All right. Okay, now that switch is off, right? But if we make a jumper, right? See? It'll only go when it gets to, when these two pieces get touched together. Otherwise, it won't be able to turn on. So, now I have to invent some kind of a jumper that will bypass that switch to like a, a sensi touch. So that's what I'm going to try doing next. Okay, so it's got stackable batteries, three little stackable batteries. There's your negative side and your positive side. So, what we need to figure out is how to make it so you tap it to turn it on. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back. I'll figure it out. Okay, so. No more switch. Bye bye. Okay, so switches in the garbage. But I added this little piece of wire here. And if these two ends touch now, okay, then they don't touch and they touch. Don't. So now I just gotta figure out that little piece. Getting there. Okay, I'm gonna go with this nine volt. So there we go. That's how I'm gonna do it. I just gotta figure out how to make that two ends uh, light. Okay, so I got them mounted through this piece of drywall. So now if they they touch them. See, the spring is pretty heavy, so I mean, they'd have to. It'd have to be a pretty hard touch. Wind is not going to affect them. Put it that way. They're too tough. They're too stiff for wind. Well, you know, if it was a tornado, maybe, but. See, they're pretty stiff. So that's good. And there's my battery. I'm gonna use this 
to hold the battery in place. And then I just gotta figure a way to make this red touch that red. So, yeah. And there's my prototype of my next uh, trigger object. Now, if they push these two wires together, see? So, it's a very light push on those wires, and uh, those will come on. And if they play with them, they, they will move, see? So, anyway, that's going to be my new prototype uh, tester. And I got these beautiful skulls uh, to work with, too, that I'm going to try. And also, I got two little crows that, you, as you can see, uh, they don't move either. They stand there. They're very light, but they're very solidly put down. So, I'm going to be using those as well. So, there you go. Or look at it. There, it's all done. Uh, as you see, they can they move. Uh, spirits can play with that. Or if they push on this wire over here. See? So, you have to actually have to touch it in order for it to, to go on. So that should be a good trigger object. We're going to give that a go and uh, see what happens. Cheerio for now.